Hey guys, so I obviously, from the title, you know that I am opening my Ipsy bag. Um, I had it for about a week. I just have been super, super freaking busy and I've not had time to open it. All I did was open it because I wanted to see what kind of makeup bag I got. So I know what kind of makeup bag I got just because I wanted, I was looking for a particular style and I wanted to see if it was in here and it was. Anyway, so as let's start off by reviewing last month's box. Um, big sexy hair. I did use this a couple times and I did think that it gave me really good volume and like held my curls when I curled my hair. So this was definitely a good thing and I still have like a lot in here. I carried this, I carried the body butter in my purse and um, it was really soft and it did help me retain moisture. My hands stayed, my hands weren't dry during the day because um, I would apply this and it lasted for a pretty long time and it just smells amazing seriously I cannot get enough you guys hear the dog barking okay and then this Josie Marin um, the argan oil I use this uh, a little bit I use it on my face under my eye area and I used it around my chin because I tend to be really dry here and then not every day but you know once in a while I would take it and just apply it to my hands and then just put it all over my face, concentrating on my chin and my under eye area, and it really did help with my dryness. I got this Soho London um, eyeshadow brush, or no, it's a concealer brush, it looks like this, and I used it for eyeshadow and it worked awesome. It's like pretty densely packed, uh, so like it's like, you know, like when you're applying the color and you want it in a particular spot, there wasn't like fallout or anything like that because I felt like the bristles were so densely packed that like they kept the color on the lid and not everywhere else on your face which is a plus so I loved this brush everything pretty much has gotten a positive review from me on this box like or this bag I should say it was really great the only thing I did not really use was this um, this nail polish so I don't like red that much I have to like be in the mood to paint my nails red. So when I'm in the mood to paint them red, I will paint them red with this red and then I will let you guys know as far as like the staying power of it or like the chipping power and things like that. So we'll see. Um, and I think that was it. I think that was it, right? One, two, three, four, five. Pretty sure that was it. Anyway. I'm now off to the fun part, opening the new bag. And I swear when I opened the container, I didn't actually open the bag. I just opened it to see what this bag looked like. So it's just like a plain black bag. It's red inside, it's cute. Okay, the first thing I see in here is this Pop Beauty Mascara. We'll try that, that's cool, it's a good size. Uh, Pixie Flawless and Poreless. I think this is a uh, pore, pore minimizing face primer, oil free, hydrating, hypoallergenic for all skin types. Oh, cool. I think you can get this brand Pixie at uh, Target. And this thing, oh, cool. Four little mini eyeshadows from Coastal Sense Candlelight, Gunmetal, Incognito, and Aspen. I will definitely use this. Maybe I will do my next tutorial with these. I'll do like a smoke. I can definitely do like a smoky eye with these colors. It's like a darker, it's kind of like a purpley color, like a blackish purple, and then like white, silver, and like a very dark gray, like almost black. And Mica Beauty Cosmetics. This looks like it's gonna be like a, yes, it is. It's like gel liner. Perfect. I was just talking about gel liner in my last video and how like I'm so obsessed, so obsessed with my Wet n Wild one, which I am, but if I got one for free, I'm going to try this one too and see how I like this. So we'll see. I'll let you guys know. Maybe I'll include that one in my tutorial as well. All right, and then this thing is a lash card. Individually wrapped mascara shield. Oh, cool. Let's see. You know, you always need these. I've never used these, but we'll see. So it's one. It's one of these, and there's 
pink four in here, so cool. Helps prevent mascara, smudging, and clumping. So yeah, wow, that was a good, this was a good bag. Like it's all like, all of this stuff is stuff that I can use to create a makeup look. So like I'm gonna do definitely, I'm definitely gonna do an eyeshadow look and I will use this Pop Beauty Mascara and this Mica Beauty Cosmetics uh, Gel Liner or cream liner, I don't know exactly what it is, it doesn't say, but either way I'll use this, and then I will use this um, under my face, so like we can do, I can do like, ammo slash review, right, yeah, that will be awesome, like that's exactly what I will do next month, I will do a demo slash review, and I will do, I will do a demo with these products, sorry, and then I will do a review when I open next month's bag, which will be perfect, this is like awesome, this is so exciting! Okay, <laughs> so I'm just going to put everything back in here. Ah! Okay, so that's my February glam bag, or that was my February my glam bag. Um, everything in there seems like it's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait to try out all the products. I'm especially excited because it's like all makeup products, like, yay! <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. What? Me? Oops. Anyway, alright. Well, that was my glam bag for the month of February, and I will talk to you guys again next time. Bye!